Hey y'all, happy Monday. I haven't vlogged in my classroom in forever. If you've seen the last video that went up on Wednesday, you know that I was here with my family over the weekend and we set up our new flower shop in the classroom. If you haven't seen the video, go check it out. But that's the first time I pulled out this camera in forever because I had plans to film over spring break, which was like a few weeks ago and I had the flu the entire spring break. And then last week we came back from spring break and it was just, a, was it last week? I don't know. I think it was last week. We came back last week from spring break and that was just a big transition to come back to school. And then I had to take my daughter to the doctor on Friday. So I wasn't at school Friday and uh, I ain't vlogged forever, but we're back, baby. We're back. And I've missed you guys oh so much. Um, what y'all been doing like catch up with me um i have bangs now um y'all have seen this hair before this is an older wig and i was like how can i fix this up to wear it again so i cut bangs on it and i don't cut hair i don't do hair obviously so it looks how it looks and it is what it is it's okay but i'm so happy to be talking to the camera right now y'all how are y'all doing i just can't take it um today is monday today is monday march 25th and um we're getting all the easter festivities ready because easter is this week well the 31st but we're having an easter egg hunt this week so easter's pretty much this week so we're getting all the easter things done i can show you guys what i'm working on over here um on my table so really good stuff sent my kids um the DIY Easter baskets, which are gonna get the color, the Easter basket. So I'm putting like all those together. This is what they come in looking like. And then you have to like obviously put it together. And they also sent them in DIY Easter eggs. So I'm gonna save these. I'm gonna let DJ and Sissy do these at home. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in my bag. It can be a cute project for us to do at home. But all my kids did um, eggs today. They decorated them and I wrote their names on them and I'm going to order them like a little Easter treat and it's gonna go in their eggs. But here's the kicker. I wrote their name on all the eggs because for them to get their Easter treat, they have to find their egg, which means they need to identify their name. Ooh, so that's what we're gonna do with these little DIY eggs. And I think they're DIY little baskets. It's so cute. I'm gonna wait till I make them all to give them to them and let them like decorate it however they want to. So we'll probably do the baskets tomorrow. Um, but yeah, today though, we talked about our new letter, which is the letter H. Um, hold on, I'm looking for a basket to put these eggs in actually. We talked about our new letter, which was H. And um, the students, you know, on Mondays, I just work on them identifying the letter, which means they know what it looks like. So we take time using our little like, doodle pads to write the letter which I will say I don't think those are going to survive next year um they have already gotten older honestly because um students are trying to like wipe it off and the letter won't go away I'll show you guys what I'm talking about in case you don't know what I'm talking about but I used to use whiteboards of course in my classroom last year came here and I don't have a class set of whiteboards. So I've been using my little doodle, all the eggs. Ah! So I've been using all these little like doodle jams. Let me show you real quick. Which they work great. I think that we have just overworked them. So this is what they look like. And now they have like permanent like scratches in them. So it's kind of hard sometimes for the kids to like wipe off the letter after they write them. So. But it is what it is. We're making it work. It's almost the end of the year, y'all. We ain't gonna buy nothing else. So, on Mondays, of course, we talk about what the letter looks like. So, they wrote the letter. I asked them, like, to describe to me how would I write the letter. They talked about that the uppercase is all straight lines. The lowercase has a curved line with a hump on it. And then after that, they do their secret letter activity where they color all the uppercase one color and the lowercase a different color. This has been my routine for, like, a while i do in the beginning they only color the letter and then i work in color uppercase one color and lowercase another color because that's like another like skill <laughs> it's a little bit harder honestly to do that because you really gotta think about it so that's what we did today and then they colored their eggs and now they're in pe also i just want to show you guys the flower shop in case you haven't watched the last video go watch the last video if you did not because i set this all up they have an area where they can count syllables um each child will be doing this where they're going to make a um 
wooden wooden tulip i think this is what this is that's from really good stuff also and then i have some spring counting over here and they can sort things based off their color and um their size which are different flowers and then here's all like the vases and things i think it's so stinking cute and i also have like some flower um sunglasses over here it brought me so much joy so yes and then i also added these right here so my plan for this is i used to do a password of the day at my old school this is going to be my password of the day so when students come in the door of course i'm going to step on green first so it'll be a uppercase h a lowercase h maybe like a clip art or like a cutout of a hat or a heart and um they'll say heart and then the sound and then i would love to put like have a great day or something like that or let's have a great day something in that nature but that's going to be like their password of the day these are from lakeshore and i think they're super cute and they're supposed to be like for like relaxing which i think will help my kids would come in in the morning time because that's like your hardest time of the day in pre-k it's just trying to get them in the door honestly so <laughs> we're going to start with um talking about retelling stories like in depth um if you don't know, I like to do this thing called um, Five Fingers to Retelling the Story because each finger um, talks about like a different trait of retelling the story. So you have a setting, character, events, problem, solution. So um, we're definitely going to start doing that um, this week like really hardcore so that we know that we are ready for portfolio because it's almost time to start that darn portfolio testing. But before my kids come in here... We are on a new unit now. We're on unit five in our C4L curriculum, which is the unit that I was most excited about because it's all about growing our garden. So that's why I made the flower shop is to go along with this um, theme for the C4L curriculum. So I'm really excited about it because I love growing stuff. I need to like get something to where they can um, plant some things at school and all things like that so what I need to do is get their books out and get everything laid out for this new theme in our curriculum I meant I wanted to do this obviously on yesterday when I was here doing the flower shop but sissy my little girl had gotten like sleepy and upset so I was like no we got to go so we left and I didn't get to sit out all the books and everything but it's just fine so yeah but i miss you guys i'm so happy to be back i hope you guys have been having like great weeks at school or if you're just like a mommy i hope like your mom life has been like great um and yeah and if you're a teacher y'all we're we're almost at the finish line it's almost april this school year flew by i can't take it so oh my god not a spider did y'all see that the epic spider talk to you guys i don't know if i'll talk to you guys today or tomorrow because i know when i get home yeah it's supposed to be raining one thing i've been doing lately for like my uh mental health is when i get home praise the lord my daughter likes being in her stroller we take a walk in the stroller just like down our country road and live our best life and it's helped me so much i love it so if it's not raining i can go on a walk i'll get a little clips of me and sissy on our little walk today but if not i'll definitely talk to you guys tomorrow i feel like i have more time to talk to you guys on tuesdays because i have morning specialty time and um yeah i don't know but i am so happy to be back i've missed y'all so much out of the day um these earrings are from amazon this sweater is from sheen or timu i don't pay a lot of money for my clothes this top is from sheen and these pants are from sheen and my shoes are from walmart we love deals all right i'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye
guys just see me finish doing this anchor chart for our retailing hand tomorrow. I'll talk to you more about it tomorrow. DJ's acting crazy in the hallway, so let's go home. It's the end of the day. <laughs> hey y'all, happy Tuesday. So you just seen me create the anchor chart in the classroom. Now me and DJ are leaving the school. Um, it was a great Tuesday. Tuesdays are my more, I'm in this parking lot with speed bumps. Tuesday are my more busy days because we have our specialty classes in the morning. Um, so I feel like I get more done because you're like so much more motivated. Hold on, it's a little too bumpy. Okay, out of the bumpy area. But um, Tuesdays are my more busy days because um, I have my specialty class in the morning which they go to art. And um, in the morning time, you know, you're already more motivated. You just got to work, you know, you're in a good mood and stuff. So this Tuesday, I actually did a lot of just like work around the classroom, set up some new things in the classroom that I'll show you tomorrow. Um, I was just really, really busy. So I didn't film, I didn't like pull the camera out. I did do some reels and TikToks, um, vertical stuff, but I did not pull the camera out to talk to you guys, which I'm so sorry about, but it's a pretty day. That means that we're gonna go home. We're gonna go for a walk with Sissy in the stroller and I will catch Yay. you guys up. Yay! And I'll catch you guys up on everything that happened at school today and what we're gonna be doing tomorrow that has to do with the retailing hand that I just made. So, not me being blurry. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Hey y'all, happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. I did not get to talk to you guys much yesterday. Um, I just got busy, so I didn't get to talk much yesterday. But today is Wednesday, and today's going to, been going super well in the classroom. Um, today, of course, we're, this week we're doing letter H. So we started our discussion on letter H. I talked too much, so the discussion went a little bit past, and now they're in music, and we didn't get to finish everything. But I was super excited because I want to do this today where I do activity where my students tell me words that make that sound. But we listen to a song, they're pretty much just telling me the words they heard on the song. But today, I was like, I wanna see what friends can think of some words that start with this sound, but words that we did not hear. So I had four kiddos that were able to give me words that made the sound in the beginning that they didn't hear on the song. And this is the first time I ever did it and I feel like it helped other kids understand because then they were giving me more words, but they were words that we kind of like had already heard. But one kid gave me hamburger, hop, um, hammer, and happy. And it made me so excited they could think of words that had that sound in the beginning, like without me like giving them anything towards it, like just them using their own brain. So that made me really excited. So as y'all know, Mondays I talk about what the letter looks like. We find the letters, all things. Wednesday, we only talk about the sound that it makes, and then Friday, we bring both those skills together so that hopefully that letter is like stuck in their brain permanently. They've been doing really good with letters. Report cards are looking very well, so I think it works a little bit. But again, yes, today's Wednesday. One thing we have not gotten to today, which I really wanted to get to today, because tomorrow we're gonna be doing all Easter things, is our retailing hand. So. This is what I was doing yesterday when you guys saw me. I definitely went back there for something and I'm walking back up here. This is what I'm doing what I was doing yesterday when you guys saw me making the anchor chart. So this is our retelling hand, which makes me so excited. I love doing the retelling hand. Fun fact, I don't know if I can say this. I don't know if it's against the law, but I did this retelling hand for my ATPA and I passed it. So the retelling hand. So this is just teaching your kids how to retell a story and not forget any aspect of retelling it. So they're using their fingers to learn how to retell stories. So the thumb is setting, the pointer finger is character, middle finger, finger events, the ring finger problem, pinky finger is solution. So when I do this, I love to start with a book that they already know. And they love this one, Llama Llama mrs mama so we're going to read this one and then i'll introduce the retelling hand first we're just going to talk about what these words even mean like what is the setting what's the character what are events what's the problem what's the solution and i'll be adding notes around the, the anchor chart this anchor chart definitely is not done it's going to get written on it's key right now but we're going to take notes on it and everything so students can remember exactly what these things mean so really really excited about it 
sorry somebody was at my door but the retelling hand if you have problems with like teaching your kids how to retell stories and remembering every single aspect of retelling the story try the retelling hand i do a little song it's like i have five fingers and i can retell a story it has a setting character events problem solution so really helps the kids remember it makes it fun for them i promise you they can retell any story after you do it that way let me tell you but right now what i'm working on is getting everything ready for to mock Paul's. I have to show y'all these. So, in my flower shop video that y'all are supposed to see Wednesday, I'm praying that I get the video up today because it's supposed to go up today. They have these wooden tulips over here that they can create. Each student hopefully are go is going to create one. I have a lot of kids that don't actually like to come over here, <laughs> which is funny, not even when it's like a kitchen. It just doesn't entertain them. And these are the few wooden tulips that has been made right now. And I think they're so sticky. Oh no, not you not want to sit up, but you're just sitting up. <gasps> Embarrassing. Okay, but what I'm doing back here is I'm getting some little like bucket, bucket, basket filler stuff. Um, oh my god. I'm getting some basket filler stuff because the students will be having their Easter egg hunts tomorrow, of course, for Easter. Also, I need to take these home so I can remember to wear them to school tomorrow. Um, they're going to be having their Easter egg hunt tomorrow outside, but I'm also holding an Easter egg hunt inside in the classroom for my kids, but it's going to be a learning activity, which I'm super excited about. So, my students have gotten really good at putting two numbers together. They're really good at addition. Um, when, when they get back from, like, Good Friday and we're out of school Monday, April Fool's Day, I was so excited for April Fool's Day. I was gonna make them brownies, you know, brownies, but we're not gonna be here. Um, when we get back to school on April the 2nd, um, we're going to start more on subtraction because they're pretty good at putting two numbers together, honestly. Um, but with that being said, this is gonna be like their final like hurrah of putting two numbers together. So each of my students made a DIY Easter egg from really good stuff. I think I already showed you guys these, but they're DIY Easter eggs. They have their names on them. So these are two different kids Easter eggs. They have two of them. They're gonna find first both of their eggs with their names on them. When they find both of their eggs with their names on them, they're gonna open them. This one's gonna have a piece of paper with a number on it. This one's gonna have a piece of paper with a number on it. They're gonna be putting both of those numbers together to obviously get a bigger number. When they get that bigger number, say they put five and four together, they got nine. When they get that bigger number, they're only gonna hunt for the eggs with nines on them. Each student should find three or four eggs with their number on them. My eggs don't have any candy in them. I bought this little thing from um, Walmart. It's Easter egg filler, just like this. And it just has like different like knickknacks in it. I figured they'll get enough candy at the outside Easter egg hunt. And also their baskets are so cute and small. I feel like it's perfect, like four is enough for all of them. So they're gonna hunt for their eggs with a number on them. So they're gonna be doing addition and number identification tomorrow. Super fun, super exciting. Also, um, anybody need some eggs? I bought this uh, 250 count egg. Why? It was only $10 though. I thought I was getting a deal. But now I don't need them. So yeah, but I might go buy some candy and stuff those tonight so I can have more eggs at the Easter egg hunt outside. We'll see. But yeah, that's what's going on. I'm gonna get their filler, their, um, not me dropping stuff. I'm going to get their, um, Mm. filler in their all their buckets so ready to get these buckets off my table i'm not gonna lie to y'all if you don't know i'm one of those people that i love to have all my stuff in a place every day so when something's out of place it makes me really nervous so all these eggs being on my table all these eggs all these baskets being on my table have not been sitting well with me so i'm going to get some filler put into all of their baskets um just to make it even cuter more fun for them and then they should probably be back we might finish the letter h and then go to free centers um yeah it shouldn't take long they just have to do my activity where we read this and we find all the words that make the sound and then they get their poem and they circle all the uppercase and lowercase h's color it and 
that's it that's all so that shouldn't take long so they'll do that before they go to free centers so let's put some filler in all these little baskets for my baby Good morning, y'all. Happy um, Thursday. It's Thursday, but it's pretty much our Friday because we don't go to school tomorrow because tomorrow's Good Friday. As you see, DJ's in the back seat, knocked out. My baby boy is so tired, um, but it's okay. I got him a bunch of Starbucks this morning. I got me a breakfast burrito, sausage, egg, and cheese. I'm ready to get in school and devour it. But I also got him a chocolate cake pop because I think that he should wake up to a cake pop. I think it will make his day but we're at the school. We're sitting in the car at the moment actually. Um, I'm here early and I don't think I want to walk all the way that way to walk through the front door. So I'm just going to sit here. It's uh, 7.52. I'm going to sit here to like 7.57 when they open the doors to the gym. So I can go in that way, so I don't have to go that way. But I will show you guys my outfit. My shirt says one hoppy teacher because we're having our Easter egg hunts and all the things today. DJ brought his Spider-Man Halloween bucket because that's what he wanted to bring. Um, but yeah, we're doing a lot of fun things today. I've talked to you guys about my plans um, for today. They're doing the Easter egg hunt outside today at like one o'clock, so it should be like warm then. I'm gonna wear my bunny ears all day. And also, it's gonna be a great day because I stopped and got my, um, Y'all know this drink has some bad chokehold. I talked about it on my last video that is going up late. So the video is supposed to go up on Wednesday. It's going to go up on Friday. So you're going to get a video on Friday, which you I hope you've already seen by now, and this video on Sunday. But I got my ice um, venti lavender. I thought they forgot my lavender and I just said lavender. That's why I'm going to sit here and wake up. I got my ice venti lavender oat milk matcha amazing it's ridiculous how good this drink is i seen somebody describe it on tiktok as the like um milk that's left over from fruit loops and that explains it perfectly that's exactly what it tastes like i'm not even gonna lie to you but we're pr praying for a good day i want to watch hop today it's one of my favorite easter movies i'm gonna buy it on amazon prime so i can watch it here and then the kids can also watch it at home i love hop and yeah, so I'm thinking we'll watch Hop this morning. We might actually go outside for recess because it's going to be a little bit warmer. We haven't been outside for recess all week. I don't do cold weather, and my kids are looking cool with it too, so I'm like, let's have fun in the classroom. So we might finally go outside for recess today, and then we'll come back in, go to lunch. Um, oh, we need to do our Easter books today where they color by. They're going to color the Easter eggs by, like, the actual words in the book we would like practice like reading left to right so you get those prepped we'll do those after lunch and then they'll go to specialty class and then they'll come back and do my egg hunt where they're like putting the two numbers together buying that number around the room then they'll do an egg hunt outside and then it'll be time to go home and no school for the next four days we don't have school friday because it's a good friday saturday and sunday and monday is a mental health day for our district so we don't have school on monday so yeah but good morning Let's have a great Thursday, a.k.a. Friday. It's ridiculous how good this drink is. They didn't make it that good today, though, but it's really good. <laughs> hey, y'all. We're in the classroom now. Um, we're about to try to hide all these Easter eggs around my classroom, but I don't, I don't, I don't. Where am I from? I don't think I'm going to actually hide them. I think I'm going to pour some out on our circle time carpet, pour some out on this center carpet and pour some out on my rainbow carpet and then um they'll just go around and find four of the certain number that is whatever they got when they added their two numbers that's in their two eggs so i explained this activity to you guys i hid the eggs with their names on them around the room they have to try to find the two eggs with their names on them get to their table bust them open see what two numbers they have put those two numbers together and then they can go hunt for that number around the room. So this is their first Easter egg hunt. Then we're going outside for a big Easter egg hunt and um, then they'll be able to like go home. But right now their tables are taking up because we were doing our little um, e Easter books that I told you guys about. So this is how I have mine on the board. I know it doesn't look 
wonderful but i have this document camera that won't work so i have to use the camera that's on my computer and just like i don't know fix my stuff up just the right way but they're doing so stinking good if you don't follow me on tiktok follow me on tiktok because i've been getting like little clips of like listen to them read their books because this little guy um, I'm just going to show his name in case his mom watching my videos. That, oh my god, y'all, he can read so good. Like, it makes my heart melt. And him, he's doing really good with reading too. So, just saying. But, we've been doing that this morning. We did not, this morning. We've been doing that. We didn't finish it. They're in computer right now. I thought about skipping, especially class, but I was like, girl, you got to put the eggs. So, I'm about to go put these eggs real quick. But that's one thing I'm going to do. Take up this carpet with eggs, this carpet with eggs, this carpet with eggs. Once they put their two numbers together, give them their basket, let them go. Find four eggs with your number on them. And those are your treats from Miss Jamaica. So, yeah. Let's put out some eggs. few eggs we're gonna put some in the library some in the uh, science center and some on the carpet and I'll show you guys when I'm done I am so dehydrated today and I don't know why lord I think I need some water oh I'll talk to you in just a second all right we got the eggs around the classroom so I made sure to sit them where the students will be able to see the number that is on them and also their eggs are hidden around the room for them to find their eggs. So, it's gonna be so much fun, I'm so excited! I hope it goes the way I plan for it to go, if that makes sense. You know how you plan things in your head? And you're just like, this is gonna shake the game. And then you try to do it and it doesn't work out. I'm scared it's gonna be like that. So, I will keep y'all updated with how this goes. <laughs> My egg is Black. Good job, Kylan. My egg is black. Tell your egg black. Black. All right, y'all. End of the day. The activity actually went very well. Hold on. Let me pause this. Okay, so the activity actually went very, very well. I'm so proud of my kiddos um the only hard part was really like getting them to accept to only get four eggs with their numbers on them they were like i see this many i'm like uh -huh -huh. only four of them other than that them putting their like numbers together and adding and stuff my kids are like amazing at it so that's why when we come back from oh, ooh, love it that's why when we come back from like good friday and we're out of school monday i told you guys whoa that's crazy we're going to start talking about um subtraction but i have to show you guys this i just filmed this for a tiktok video look at this hot pink vacuum hot pink vacuum are you joking this is so beautiful i don't usually get into like the tiktok shop ads i was for a while but then it got like confusing so i don't do them much but when they reached out about filming for this vacuum look at that pinkness look how cute Look how stinking cute. That's how it picks up. Look at your glasses. That's how it picks up all the trash off the floor. Just finished my filming my TikTok for this, and we're about to get out of here. I'm not doing a classroom reset today. I just don't feel like it. Um, it's been a busy, 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 busy day. I am ready to go home. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are excited. The vlogs are back. Y'all have been loving my shorts, so that makes me excited. But, um, you know, I do want to, like, do, like, full, long videos for you guys also. So, yeah. But, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure you just subscribe to see all the videos from me. And, I didn't um... see all the videos to me, because I got... And, and if we get home, uh -huh. I'm going to show you a new video. Okay. Say bye. Bye. Say have a good day. And and subscribe and you want to see my channels. Boom. Bye bye. Bye bye. Right. <laughs>